the boxes and sort them out, decide which ones we're going to keep to reuse for making up splits or to putting in the colonies we're taking the splits out of, a variety of things we can use this comb for if it's in good shape. We'll also inspect it for American foul brood so we make sure we're not using, reusing comb that's infected with American foul brood. So we'll take the box off the wheelbarrow and we put it onto our scraping box. So we set it over here that onto the scraping box. Then we scrape all the wax off the top and all the wax off the bottom of the frame. This scraping box catches the majority of the wax and again we don't want this wax getting spread around the bee yard for biosecurity reasons but it also gums up your boots so you don't want to be walking on that. And we'll scrape the bottom boards. It's easy to scrape the tops and the bottoms while they're still in the box because the box is helping to hold on to them. Then what we do is we take the frame out. There's a plastic frame. Uh, they don't tend to add an extra lot of, a lot of wax onto these plastic frames. I'll just knock that off there. So just hold it securely, knock it off. Then that, anything we scraped goes into an already scraped box. We'll talk about scraping the boxes in a minute. And you can see a comb. We don't, we're not going to waste time scraping things until we've decided whether we're keeping them or not. See that's broken there? Bunch of old uh, comb that's not really usable down in here. A wire broken loose there. So this one is going to be burned. Uh, that one is also going to be burnt. It's a very old frame, quite black looking. Uh, we don't render that dark brood comb. The pupil casings soak up wax and it's really difficult to get the wax out of them. It's a messy job, it takes very specialized equipment, a steam generator, a wax press, and so we just burn those uh, instead of going through that process. Of course we don't burn anything that has plastic in it, any plastic foundation. That has to go into the dumpster or off to the dump uh, because we can't burn plastic. Uh, it creates some very serious toxins in the, in the environment if we do. There's a good frame, that's drone comb and we're going to be able to reuse that. There's no excess wax on the outside so it goes in there. Uh, not, like these plastic frames, there's not a lot to scrape other than the tops and the bottoms. Uh, that's kind of debatable but it is getting pretty old too. Another old comb. So we're being pretty pretty ruthless here. Uh, that what frame might be uh, maybe eight, ten years old. I'm going to keep that one. So we're going to scrape these shoulders off right here. Uh, to get, and we'll scrape a little bit across the bottom and I'll show you what that looks like in a second. Use either end of your hive tool. Sometimes scraping works better with the heel of the hive tool, sometimes with the, the blade of the hive tool. Down there, there's a the frame that's ready to go. And that's got all this drawn comb in there. It's really valuable resource for the bees to have comb that's already built up and ready to go. This one on the other hand never did get drawn out last year. You can see they've just started to build comb on that, uh, but there's not much there. I'll clean off those little bits there. Not much to clean up there, fairly new frame. If we want to renew comb on a plastic frame, we can just scrape the comb right off and put it back into the hive and let them build comb on that again. Kind of a tough job, you really need to work at it to get that scraped off, but uh, that, that is a doable situation. Now we're going to scrape the box. You can see there's all this wax in here, propolis all around here, propolis all down through there. We want to clean all that up, so we'll just scrape away. You don't want to have too sharp a hive tool for the, any kind of scraping on wood, so when you get a new hive tool, 
what I like to do is run a file across it along here to flatten that edge and that, that scrapes well without digging into the wood. So we'll scrape uh, along this area here, right in there, and we'll scrape along there, and then down all down the sides, and then around on the top. Frames will move around nicely in there. There isn't a lot of excess wax here causing the uh, friction when the bees are you're, when we're moving frames around. And that's clean and ready to go to put more frames into it. We got a really yucky looking bottom board here. The bees died over the winter here. They dropped down at the bottom. There weren't enough bees left in there to clean that up. And so they just died and have molded in there so you can see several different kinds of mold a white one there a green one there all these bee carcasses all little bumps of wax that the bees use as ladders to climb up to their frames and a nice big chunk of propolis in there we're going to keep that propolis so what we're going to do is use a wide scraper this wide scraper there and we'll scrape everything but that propolis to begin with Scraping box like this is really nice to have, but any kind of a table uh, works fine. Uh, but you need to have something to jam things up against so that you can scrape really well and they're held on to. So there's our nice chunk of propolis there. We'll clean that up a little bit more, and then I can scrape that propolis up. See how I'm holding my hand there above it so we don't lose any of it? There's some. There's some more, pretty sticky, and the rest of that's kind of dirty. So we got a nice little lump of solid propolis there that we can use. So the bottom board's ready to use again, the boxes are ready, the frames are ready to use again, and uh, that's how we handle things in the spring. One thing I want to cover a little bit here is as we're going along, we check to see if there's any foul brood in the cells. If they have had foul brood, if we hold the frame at an angle like that, we have sunlight shining down or a really good strong light shining down. We're looking to see foul brood scales along the bottom of the cell like that. And they'll be, they'll be black, so they blend in with this black wax. But you can see a difference in the texture on the cells so we inspect every brood frame to see if there's any American fowl brood in there before we reuse it. It rarely shows up. Uh, we do use antibiotic here in Ontario to help prevent uh, American fowl brood spread in the spring and fall when bees are robbing. Uh, but we still need to be extra cautious and uh, that's not, those materials aren't available uh, uh, for use in a lot of jurisdictions. So this inspection becomes even more important in those places. But that's, uh, that's all nice and clean and ready to go uh, to make, make a nice home for a nucleus colony or a split. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time.